Hi everyone, it's Gu Ho again. So today's topic is basic features. You look at the types of basic features: point, line, plane, circle, sphere, cylinder, cone, and step cylinder. Each features have different output items. For example, a point outputs x, y, and z coordinate. And the line outputs x, y, z coordinates and a1, a2 item. The meaning of a1 and a2 is the axis of the feature. Line, plane, cylinder, cone, and step cylinder displays the angularity, which is axis angle. And a1, a2 stands for their angle of the axis. But point and circle, spear, they don't have any axis, so therefore they don't have a1, a2. And when you measure any of those features on the part, SMMF will output as an F item. S stands for standard deviation. Capital M stands for maximum deviation. And small m stands for minimum deviation and f stands for form deviation. The meaning of form deviation is a value that indicates how close the feature's shape is to the geometric shape, which means smaller f value is more like closer to the geometric shape. So let's take a look at all these basic features details. First point. The minimum measuring point required of measuring a point is only one point. It outputs x, y, and z coordinate. Let me tell you about the most important thing when you measure a point. First, sensor detects the coordinate of the center of the ruby ball, and then your measure is compensating the value as much as the calibrated radius with the same direction as the measuring vector. But when you measure a point on a tapered plane, a sign error will occur. So it is important to compensate the measuring direction as same as the plane's axis. Here is the information for this characteristic. And then line. The minimum measuring point required of measuring a line is Two points. It outputs x, y, z, and a1, a2. The place where x, y, z coordinate comes out center of the line. The a1 and a2 values are degrees of the features axis, and the reference axis for each value determines with the closest axis. On to the next one, plane. The minimum measuring points required of measuring a plane is 3 points and it outputs x, y, z coordinates on the center of the plane and then a1, a2 as axis. The axis of the plane is perpendicular on the surface and it has two projected axes. Circle The minimum measuring point required of measuring a circle is 3 points. And it outputs x, y, z coordinates on the center of the circle and diameter. Neuromeasure supports four different calculation methods for circle, as you can see here. And also, it applies the same to spheres and cylinder. Least square method is the default, but also applicable. Maximum inscribed method, minimum circumscribed method, and minimum zone method. For the next sphere, the minimum measuring points required of measuring a sphere is 4 points. It outputs x, y, z value on the center of the sphere and diameter. The calculating methods are applied the same as the circle and the cylinder. The minimum measuring points required of measuring a cylinder is 8 points. It outputs x, y, z, center of the uh, 
cylinder and diameter and also A1 and A2 because it has asses. The asses of the cylinder goes through the center of the cylinder and it has two projected asses. The calculating methods are also applies the same as circle and cone. The minimum measuring points required of the measuring a cone is 8 points. It outputs x, y, z on the vertex of the cone and diameter a1, a2 and a as the cone's vertical angle. The diameter of a cone means it sliced circles diameter when the axis of the cone meets any of reference flames axis. This is just like this. And for the last, step cylinder. The minimum measuring points required of measuring a step cylinder is 8 points. And measure two different circles. It outputs x, y, z on the center of the step cylinder. And D1, D2 stands for those two different circles diameter and also A1, A2 for the axis. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching this video and I'll be back with you guys in the next video. Thank you.